Hey guys, it's Bruce here with The Aquarium Life. So, today I wanted to talk uh, about Aptasia and one method I have for uh, getting rid of that out of our aquariums. Uh, really inexpensive, easy method. Um, you know, first off, the thing with Aptasia is you want to try to kind of nip it in the bud. As soon as you start seeing it, you want to start attacking right away. If you let it get out of control, then it's going to get in your sump, it's going to get in the filters, it's going to be really, really difficult to get rid of completely. Uh, there's tons and tons of different uh, techniques. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, butterfly fish, which could potentially nip at corals. Uh, they may or may not be reef safe. Uh, you're kind of taking a gamble there. Uh, you've got uh, peppermint shrimp, and I've, even those I've seen nip at corals from time to time. Uh, that's another option. Uh, Bergia and Nudibranx uh, are an option. Uh, personally, I haven't had great success with those. Uh, you've got uh, things like uh, Aptasia X, products like that, that can get, uh, get kind of expensive. So what I do myself is I'll use um, a Kalkwasser and I mix it up into a really thick paste and then you spread that paste over your Aptasia and that's going to smother the whole thing. Now, if, you're, if you've been in the hobby a long time, you've probably already heard of this, but if not, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can help some people here and show them uh, a great technique for removing Aptasia. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is uh, sometimes, you know, if you're dealing with Aptasia, you've got a rock you can get out of the aquarium that has Aptasia on it. Just pull that whole rock out, uh, take a screwdriver, um, some kind of blade or something like that, and, and, and just scrape that whole thing off of there. That way you're completely taking it out of the water and uh, you know sometimes we overlook that but you know go, go ahead and you know get a little aggressive with that. That's also a good uh, uh, method for getting rid of Aptasia. But obviously um, there, there's uh, plenty of times when that's not the case and you've got to leave the rocks in the tank. So uh, I'm going to show you how to remove that with uh, Kalkwasser. And, uh, you know, of course, I'm a little bit partial here to the Vital Reef brand, so that's what we're going to be using. But this will work with any uh, any uh, Kalkwasser mix. Uh, Kalkwasser is calcium hydroxide. Uh, the main thing we use it for in our aquariums is dosing for calcium and alkalinity. So, without further ado, uh, let's go to mixing. All right, so I'm going to mix this here, and uh, honestly, there's there's probably some. Uh, exact ratios on people's preferences. What I like to do is mix this to a uh, really thick, basically as thick as you can get it into a syringe. That's the consistency you want. So we're going to add some of the Kalkwasser here. And then we're going to add a little bit of RO water to that. And I'll see if I can get uh, maybe more of a precise ratio. I'm just always used to uh, mixing this. Uh, you know, while I'm out servicing aquariums, so I don't usually measure it. I just kind of go by eye. I've heard of people mixing in uh, lemon juice, things like that. Uh, I don't know, I've tried it, I haven't really gotten any better results. I think just the uh, pure calcium hydroxide is fine. I want to mention also, while I'm sitting here taking the time to mix this, I want to mention that um, calcium hydroxide, you need to be very careful with it. It can be great to dose in your aquarium, but it's very easy to overdose. So it's something that um, I would recommend more for uh, intermediate to advanced aquarists. Uh, however, with, uh, you know, with the using this to remove Aptasia. Uh, as long as you're very careful with it, I think you'll be just fine. If you have a lot of Aptasia, um, you want to do this over uh, several treatments. Um, you're not going to want to, you want to be careful not to overdose it. it um, uh, Kalkwasser is caustic, uh, it has a really high pH, and it could definitely affect your aquarium's chemistry to the point where it could crash a system. If you're careful with it, you don't have anything to worry about. So, I've mixed that with some RO water. I've got my syringe here. It 
So I've gotten it pretty thick to where it's not quite grabbing all of it. But look how thick that is. That, that's about what you want. Um, the thicker the better. It's going to stay put. Once you get that into the syringe, of course you're going to want to rinse off the outside because that's going to go all over in your aquarium. Rinse out the outside, get any excess air, and we are good to go. Alright, so we're going to do an action shot here. I've got this Aptasia. It's on a really large rock. Obviously, I can't get the rock out. Um, so we're going to use our, uh, our Kalkwasser paste that we've made. And we're going to inject this right into the middle. And we're not going to be afraid to use quite a bit. Um, I want to let you guys know that I've turned the pumps off. All the pumps are off. And we're going to leave the pumps off for about 10 minutes. Uh, with the calc being as thick as it is right there, it should, uh, it should be able to, to harden up. As long as it's not in the direct path of, uh, let's say, another power head or something like that. And then if, if it is, you might want to leave that uh, particular pump off for a little bit longer, maybe an hour or so, for that, uh, that page to harden up completely. But this, uh, this technique is uh, really inexpensive and helps quite a bit. Uh, again, I want to make sure to let everybody know that if you have a lot of these Aptasia to deal with. You are not going to want to hit them all at once. Uh, this could cause a spike in your pH and could have an adverse effect on your aquarium's chemistry. Alright, so it, you can see the basic concept there. Um, you know, pretty simple. Just want to be really careful, really mindful of what you're working with. You're, um, you know, working with something that's a pretty strong concentrate, so you don't want to uh, get this on your other corals. If you do, you can use a turkey baster right away to, to you know, get that off of the, the other corals. Um, you know, just practice. Be really, really conservative at first uh, if you're using this method. Um, that's not to scare you off from giving it a try. I just want to make sure that uh, people are out there, uh, you know, uh, being successful with this. So, uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'm on there at, as vital underscore reef. Um, I'm also on Facebook, Bruce Ewald. Uh, and then obviously I'm on YouTube as Bruce Ewald. Uh, thanks again so much. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, I'd love to hear from you.